On a calm morning sky on September 5, 1977, something extraordinary happened. NASA launched Voyager 1, a spacecraft that would eventually become one of the most iconic symbols of human achievement. It wasn't just another routine space mission, it was a bold leap into the unknown, beyond planets, moons, and asteroids, into the deep, mysterious reaches of the cosmos. As it soared above Cape Canaveral, it carried not only machinery and instruments, but the hopes and dreams of an entire civilization reaching for the stars. The original mission of Voyager 1 seemed simple but profound, to explore the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. But that modest beginning grew into one of the most astonishing space adventures in history. The spacecraft had a twin sibling, Voyager 2, launched just weeks apart. These two space probes were built using 1970s technology, a time when digital systems were primitive. There were no touch screens, no smartphones, no advanced AI, just hand-soldered circuits, analog components, and the brilliance of engineers who fought far beyond Earth's atmosphere. Back then, most people believed the mission would last maybe five years. Voyager was only meant to fly by a few planets and send back data. But today, nearly five decades later, Voyager 1 is still active, still communicating, still revealing the secrets of the universe. This alone makes it one of the most remarkable machines ever built. The very idea that a spacecraft launched with 69 kilobytes of memory, less than the size of a single photo on your phone, can still function and transmit data from billions of miles away, is beyond extraordinary. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter in March 1979. What it found this stunned the scientific community. It sent back breathtaking images of the Great Red Spot, a monstrous storm wider than Earth, raging in Jupiter's atmosphere. It observed Io, one of Jupiter's moons, and made a jaw-dropping discovery, active volcanoes erupting on its surface. This was the first time we had ever seen volcanic activity beyond Earth. Scientists were in awe, this was something no one had predicted. When Voyager 1 arrived at Saturn in November 1980, it again surprised everyone. Saturn's iconic rings, once thought to be a simple structure, were revealed to be layered, complex, and dynamic. The spacecraft showed that the rings were shaped by the gravitational pull of tiny shepherd moons, some just a few kilometers wide. The images weren't just beautiful, they were revolutionary. Before Voyager, much about Jupiter and Saturn was speculation. After Voyager, textbooks had to be rewritten. But Voyager didn't stop at the outer planets. It kept flying, past Uranus, past Neptune, beyond Pluto, and out into the uncharted frontier of interstellar space. In 2012, Voyager 1 did what no human-made object had done before. It crossed the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the sun's solar wind gives way to the pressure of interstellar space. This marked our species' first step into another part of the galaxy. Physicist Michio Kaku said, Voyager's data was nothing short of revolutionary. It found plasma waves and strange magnetic vibrations in places we once thought were empty. Voyager recorded plasma wave bursts, intense, mysterious energy patterns. These weren't just noise. They had rhythm. They pulsed like signals. One astrophysicist said it reminded him of ripples in a still lake, disturbed by something moving beneath the surface. Could this be something we don't yet understand? Some scientists speculated that Voyager might have detected hints of dark matter, the invisible substance that makes up most of the universe's mass but has never been directly observed. Others thought these signals might hint at new physics, something completely outside our current understanding. The SETI Institute, which searches for extraterrestrial intelligence, noted, we've never seen signals like these before. While they didn't claim it was alien in origin, they admitted it was unlike anything previously recorded, Carl Sagan, one of the original minds behind Voyager, once said, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Just because we haven't proven alien life exists doesn't mean it isn't. To this day, some scientists still re-examine unusual signals from Voyager with a sense of wonder. Could there be something, or someone, out there? Voyager continues to survive in the harshest environment imaginable. It is exposed to cosmic radiation, temperatures that fall below 400 degrees Fahrenheit and complete isolation. Its energy comes from radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, devices that convert heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. These generators produce less power each year, 
but after 47 years, they still keep Voyager alive. Inside Voyager 1 is something truly unique, the Golden Record. It's a message to the universe, a time capsule containing music, greetings in 55 languages, sounds from Earth, birdsong, ocean waves, a baby laughing, Beethoven, blues by Blind Willie Johnson. It's not just science, it's human culture, emotion, and creativity, all sealed into a small disc flying through the stars. Even as it ages, Voyager 1 keeps surprising scientists. In 2021, researchers detected a steady plasma hum, a low, continuous signal coming from interstellar space. Cornell astrophysicist Stella Arca said, it's like finding a faint, steady tone in a noisy room. This discovery changed our understanding of deep space, showing it's not silent at all, it's filled with subtle interactions and energy. Voyager also revealed that interstellar space is denser than we expected. Older models assumed the area beyond the heliopores was almost empty, but Voyager's readings showed that plasma particles are packed closer together in some regions, like hidden rivers in a vast desert. This is helping us map the shape of the heliosphere, the bubble that protects our solar system from galactic radiation. Dr. Ed Stone, Voyager's longtime project scientist, said, each time the sun flares, it sends out a message, and decades later, Voyager still hears it. That's how sensitive and precise this spacecraft remains. It has detected shock waves from solar storms traveling all the way out to its location, billions of miles from Earth. There are still mysteries in Voyager's data, like the structured rhythms in certain signals. Some experts believe these come from charged particles or interstellar dust, but others aren't so sure. Jill Tarta, a leading figure at SETI, said, We must keep an open mind. The moment we think we've seen everything, science stops progressing. Voyager's memory is tiny, just 69 kilobytes, but the data it stores is processed by supercomputers on Earth. The contrast is almost poetic, an old machine with vintage tech teaching us about the universe with help from the most advanced technology on Earth. NASA has even managed to remotely update Voyager's software, sending commands that take 21 hours to arrive, and then 21 hours to hear back. That's how far away it is. In 2023, a minor glitch in Voyager's memory was corrected. NASA's engineers, using creativity and patience, rerouted how the probe stores data. It worked, and Voyager continued transmitting. A tiny fix for a machine that's become a legend. Today, Voyager is more than 15 billion miles from Earth. It travels over 300 million miles farther each year, pulled only by the momentum of its original launch in 1977. Its plutonium-based power is slowly fading, and it's expected that by 2025, Voyager will run out of energy for its final instruments. With even when it goes silent, its mission won't end. Voyager will continue drifting through space, orbiting the Milky Way for thousands, even millions of years. In about 40,000 years, it may pass near another star system. It won't be broadcasting, but it will still carry the golden record, our greeting to the cosmos. Scientists believe that long after Voyager falls silent, its legacy will endure. Missions like NASA's interstellar probe are being planned to follow Voyager's path, with updated instruments, faster speeds, and better sensors. Voyager has become a catalyst, inspiring new generations of explorers. Today, university students write scientific papers based on Voyager's data. High schoolers study its findings. It has become a symbol of what science and human spirit can achieve. Voyager shows that curiosity matters, that courage fuels discovery, and that we can reach farther than we ever imagined. Carl Sagan once said, This is a story of human courage and curiosity. A spacecraft made by the same species who painted caves with ashen fire is now among the stars. Voyager is no longer just a machine, it is a quiet ambassador of Earth. One day, someone, or something, might find it play the golden record, and hear our laughter, our music, our voices across time and space. They may learn that once, a species from a small blue planet tried to understand the stars and left behind a message, we were here. We tried to know. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.